What's up, Huskies? It's Clint the Gamer here, bringing you guys episode 5 of Throwback Thursday. This is the episode on my old channel where I hit 400 subscribers on that channel, and since we just recently hit 400 on this channel, I thought it'd be fitting to use this commentary for today. Hope you all enjoy this video. If you do, leave a like rating. It always shows support, and it makes me feel happy inside. Drop a comment if you wish, subscribe for more content, and check out the links in the description below to stay up to date with all my new videos. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Remember to get Husky. My name's Clint the Gamer. Bye-bye. Welcome to my humble abode, anyone who is not familiar with this channel, because as the title of this video says, thank you for 400 again. For those of you who do not know, YouTube has decided to delete all the inactive subscribers. I'm pretty sure it's all off of everyone's accounts, so thank you also to YouTube for sending me back from 414 to 399, sending me back 15 subscribers. But thank you even more to the people who subscribed recently in the past few days because I managed to work my way up from 399 to 405 within like 48 hours, which may not seem like a lot to you guys, but it's a hell of a lot to me. So again, welcome to my channel. Anyone who's new, I post MW3 gameplays, Lord of the Rings gameplays, clips, snippets, um, whatnot of all types of games, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, everything that you can think of. Okay, definitely not everything you can think of, but uh, I got a lot of gameplays and stuff on my channel, so stay tuned for all the new stuff. But mainly today, I wanted to talk about um, MW3 and Activision, Infinity War, whoever works on their patching for multiplayer, and how it's really annoying me in the past few days. And yes, I am mad bro. By the way, I just saw uh, a man on a ledge today, and no, I, I don't mean like... Literally, I, I watched the movie, A Man on a Ledge, it was pretty good. Uh, kind of suspenseful, but then it, the, the ending was kind of crappy, but that's just my opinion. Uh, don't really want to get into that too much, but yeah, getting back to the main topic, which was uh, basically Infinity Ward, what are you doing? For those of you who do not know, the new Infected game mode was released in the community playlist, and it was really, really weird at first. It wasn't too easy to get Moabs, and it was not that fun at first. Being the f due to the fact that there was throwing knives, if um, those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, for those of you who don't know who, what I'm talking about, you can check out my live commentary session of the uh, infected playthrough. By the way, I totally forgot to mention this is a triple Moab gameplay. Yes, triple three, not just by me though. I get one Moab, my friend Evan gets one Moab, and my friend Duke gets one Moab. So shout out to those guys and everyone else who was in the party that was helping call in Michael. I'm pretty sure Michael's there, and yep, thank you to everyone who was in this gameplay, you guys are awesome, and uh, of course not the other team though, because they kind of sucked, just kidding guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I die on like, yeah, right here, like 11-0, kind of big bummer, I go 43-2, and two. back to my, the main topic though, which was, um, again, for those of you who haven't uh, played the new Infected game mode, I suggest you stay away from it, because they constantly keep patching it, and there's a lot of like infected spots that you can get into if on certain maps and they patch those now and put death barriers on all of them so if you manage to get into some sort of little glitch spot where it, uh, I guess Infinity Ward, I'm just going to keep referring to them as Infinity Ward whoever patches all these spots and whatnot uh, as far as they're concerned it is unfair for everyone else so they just patched all these little spots that you can get into and made it impossible for anyone to really have a uh, sort of keep their stats up at the same time as having a fun sort of game um, and it's kind of annoying to me because at first the game mode was okay I didn't really like the fact that there was throwing knives and uh, I still managed to sort of uh, tolerate it to say and um, then they patched it to make it uh, no throwing knives at all but the death spot the the little spots you could get into on each map were all patched and now they patch it again to put throwing knife gameplays in again and just completely annoying juggernaut versus LMGs uh, I don't see what the point of all these constant patching is all these constant patches were but it is not fun for me because uh, in my opinion actually it, it is sort of fair to balance it out like that that was a nice little Oh, I thought I got a triple there, but whatever. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Um, at the, I, I do admit, at the second patch, it was really unfair. People could get easy Moabs just by camping with their friends with Strikers and PP90s and whatever, but uh, I didn't think they would actually patch it to make every class with a throwing knife because 
it's extremely annoying to be 18 and 0 against a team where they're using throwing knives uh, on the infected team and you you die from a throwing knife because it was just like everyone was throwing them at you. Uh, yes, that I'm speaking from experience right now. Um, getting past the infected though, uh, Robert Bowling tweeted today that there is going to be five more prestiges. Adding on to the 10 already, that makes it at 15. And the little icon, all that changes is, uh, changes about it is there's a little Roman numeral saying the prestige that you are past 10th. So if you're 11th, there'll be a little I for the for the one, and then two I's for the two, three for the three, obviously, and then there's like a V I think for five. So that'll be that'll be 15, and then there's an I V for four. For those of you who don't know what Roman numerals look like, just Google uh, like a Roman numeral clock or something and you'll see what I'm talking about. Or Google the Prestige 15 icons in MW3. They have already been released for PS3, so no, this is not a work in progress. Now it's just a work in progress actually for the consoles to be patched to allow this. And uh, I got a tweet on Twitter from, um, I don't know who it was, it was someone random actually. And they said that if you Google it, they also plan on releasing another five more after these 15, uh, after these five are already released, putting it at 15. So I was even going to say before I even knew that information that I'm not prestiging simply because of the fact that if I, once I do get to 15, because I know like it's not, it's not hard to prestige, it just takes a few, it takes more time out of your day. But, um, once I do get to 15, what's going to stop them from adding another 5? And once I get to 20, what's going to stop them from adding another 5? And it'll just be this endless process of them adding more and more prestigious. Here you'll see Evan gets the Moab, and I think in like 2 or 3 kills I get mine. Close calls right here from a martyrdom guy running down the hill. And a nice knife in the back. I never really get knife kills because I run tactical setup. And that's basically what I had to say about the prestiging because... I don't think I'll ever prestige again in this game. It's just too much of a hassle because I finally managed to get more than four gold guns already. I have the FAD, the SCAR, the PP90, and the MP7 already at gold. Over 15 Moabs on this on this uh, prestige already. So I completed the 15 prestige. I mean the 15 Moabs on this uh, prestige challenge already. For those of you who do not know, there is a challenge for two more uh, than ten. Wars, what are you doing? I, I think it's ten, and then or in five, sorry, and then fifteen. I'm not too sure what's after that. BS but hopefully, I do find out later on. In there's this already a map pack for get, uh, Xbox. More there's than another. There's one. Have the same map pack on that's it, been I out for Xbox on for a while now. It's going to be released for right now. only PS3 uh, here, here elite my members. And also, guys, I finally got my seventeen days, which is. We're almost ridiculous uh and by that time by the time the regular psn users get it then there will be another xbox map pack already so that's two map packs for the xbox members before the ps3 ones even get uh one which is completely stupid and i i really think infinity ward needs to stop getting bought out by microsoft or activision or whoever these money hungry whores if you will duke got his moab here uh, for those of you who are wondering, no, at calling in more than one Moab does not mean triple the XP or quad the XP. It's still double, sadly. I don't know why they don't patch the stuff that needs to be patched rather than fixing what doesn't need to be. Like, someone needs to go to Infinity Ward and tell them, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing, you know. Because it'd be really cool if, for once, uh, I could get quad XP from people getting a triple Moab in a game. But no, obviously. And for those of you who, don't, who are wondering right now, I'm currently at 84 Moabs. I did count the three that I got in infected, not because um, they were easy or anything, because uh, a lot of people are saying they don't count, but a Moab is a Moab. I could really care less right now, unless you're doing these spawn trap things where you just shoot at one spot the whole game and simply like hold down R1, which anyone can do. You could give a random player... The controller and tell them to hold down on, hold down on R1 and they'll still get a Moab eventually. Um, you get what I'm start, trying to say here. Uh, but yeah, basically that's pretty much everything I was trying to say. And also in addition to them adding five more prestiges after the 15, it's probably like they're trying. Uh, Infinity Wars trying to like one up Treyarch for them having 15 in Black Ops. I don't know what it is with Infinity Ward, but again, as I said, instead of adding new stuff. Fix the old crap first.